Taylor, what stands out to you on this game? I, I got to get this team better prepared. We were flat tonight. It's on me. <clears throat> what did you got it down to five a couple of times in that fourth quarter? What did you make of the looks your team got, you know, down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, I thought our defensive activity was a whole lot better there. Um, we got them playing in the half court, you know, physicality. We got some big rebounds. We played fast. And then there was a couple of possessions I, I wish I could take back to get us better organized. I think it was a little too late. Um, you know, I thought our, our pace of play, just playing fast, moving the ball, uh, was really good. And then there's probably a couple wish I wish we had slowed them down a little bit. What did you like about uh, Zaire Williams and what he uh, kind of contributed there late, third, early in fourth quarter? Yeah, I thought he did a really good job on ball, um, you know, trying to keep the ball in front. His recovery speed uh, was good. Uh, played a great second half for us. Obviously, you know, knocked down some shots in the first, but I thought just put two sides of the four together in that second half, knocking down shots, getting some rebounds, uh, running the floor. I thought, again, you know, navigating a bunch of pick and rolls. Um, it was pretty impressive. I mean, he was scheduled to be out of the rotation tonight, and he's been putting in a lot of work last couple of days, staying ready. Told him, you know, whenever your number's called, come out there and play winning basketball. I thought he did that tonight. You have a pretty challenging road trip coming up. Do you like that at all that it's a challenging trip after maybe a game like this? Yeah, every game should be treated as a challenge and an opportunity to, to play your best and come out, you know, with the right urgency. That's why I say I've got to get this group ready. Um, and we're going to take it one day at a time, one game at a time going out west. Uh, we have our work cut out for us. We just got to continue, you know, fighting, working on the things that we know are going to impact winning, you know, on both sides of the floor. Um, obviously, practice time is a little limited, you know, with the condensed schedule and all that, but that's no excuse. It's got to be the film going in. I thought we had a great shoot around yesterday. Um, when we get out to LA and have a shoot around, we just got to keep putting purposeful work in, and hopefully, we just continue to find ways to get better. Taylor, in the back, what was it like coaching against Darko? That oh, was awesome. I mean, you can feel his fire down there. Um, he had his guys playing extremely hard tonight. You know, obviously they were playing extremely fast. You know, not surprised, you know, when you watch the film, how he's prepared this team and, you know, uniqueness with the different lineups he's got out there, putting guys in their spots, different pick and roll combinations. I thought they had pretty good spacing, good ball movement as well. Um, you know, they, they've got guys that can play with a lot of force and he's putting them in successful positions. And then defensively, you know, game plan, they made it tough on us, you know, trying to pack the paint, you know, do some things, you know, going under on us. Uh, when we did execute well, we got some good looks, but he had those guys dialed in and they played really well tonight. Um, Taylor, so uh, typically over the past couple of seasons, you've gone with having two centers or four big men in the rotation. Uh, past couple of games, you've gone biz, no X. Tonight, you do X, but no biz. Just what has gone into that decision and kind of shift away from those four big lineups? Yeah, just with the back to back, just wanted a different look. Um, obviously, you know, I think the biz has been playing well. You know, I anticipate him being back in the rotation on uh, Friday against LA. Um, trying to see a little bit more Jaron and Sante. I think I said that maybe a couple of games ago, trying to get some of those looks. And then, you know, depending on how, you know, guys are playing or if there's foul trouble, it's more, you know, some guys are playing well. I try to lean into, you know, building their rhythm there and may adjust some of the, the lineups that we have with JJ at the five, maybe playing some small, you know, when Vince has been there, Vince and Marcus on the floor together, you know, just giving some different looks, you know, with JJ at the five. But the Santi JJ lineup is something that we've want to look into. I thought, you know, Santi played well, had a good first half, did some good things rebounding wise for us. Uh, but just trying to, you know, see if that chemistry can be formed since we've traditionally played Biz X or, you know, Steve O, B, C, just trying to get JJ at the fight to exploit that offensively and, and kind of figure out what we can accomplish defensively with different guys around him. When you have something like uh, Marcus Smart dealing with the, you know, the one on his left hand as a coach throughout the game, uh, are you like be conscious of like that? Are you talking to him about that throughout the game in any sort of way? Or is it as simple as, you know, you take his word, he says it's good to go and, you know, play through it? Oh, I trust the guy completely. I mean, obviously uh, I noticed, you know, it the other day and I just asked him, I said, man, I'm feeling good. Just got to play through it. Just got to get the reps, get comfortable with it. But absolutely trust him out there. Um, obviously, you know, I know it's unique when you've got bandage on it and all that stuff, but you know, nothing that I'm worried about when he's out there playing hard and diving on the floor and getting good looks. and. You know, being a guy that can get into the paint for us and all that stuff, I don't think it's bothering him. He's just, you know, adapting to it right now. Thank you, Great. Thanks, everybody.